All right, so welcome to Photoshop and today's quick tip of the day. And today's quick tip is going to be the rotate tool. Now this is, and the quick key to get it is the letter R. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the letter R and we can see we've now got the icon for the rotation tool. Now, just to make this clear, this has nothing to do with rotating your image and keeping it that way. This is a temporary solution. So we can see up here, we've got rotation angle. We can manually input that. We can slide this. We can reset this, what you're gonna do. And you can rotate all windows, meaning if you have multiple layers or something like that, we can rotate everything in the image at the same time. So rotate works like this. You're gonna get that compass. So that's letting you know that you're in the rotate tool. What happens in Photoshop is a lot of times when you make an adjustment, it's much easier to apply that going back and forth especially with the mouse it's a little bit easier with a pen tool to go on angles but sometimes it can be difficult for someone to draw or paint or apply something at an angle this allows you to rotate something so you can kind of go at this axis at which you want and then once you're done you can just go ahead and hit reset view it's going to go right back to the beginning so all this is doing is letting you adjust the angle so it's easier for you to work so if I come in here and I'll make a big curves adjustment so we can see it and then I need to apply it it might be easier for me to then come in here and do it at this angle all right then it would be to come here and kind of paint at this angle so if I wanted to work on this angle and I was having trouble I could easily just hit R I can come back in here I can rotate this more I can go back to my brush and then once again, I'm working at this angle. And then when I'm done, I can hit, either hit escape or reset view, and you'll get back to where you started. So that is how you use the rotate tool in Adobe Photoshop. Hopefully this was helpful. Any comments or questions, you can leave those below, and don't forget to subscribe.